SpaceX just launched their Dragon. You see the picture here? And it just docked to the ISS, and uh, the astronauts Bob and Doug got out. ISS. Um, I live tweeted the whole thing for 24 hours. The whole thing was basically 24 hours. Um, so here are the highlights. Hi guys, so <clears throat> what's just happened and is kind of happening right now is they're about to leave the um, uh, dressing room where they get into their seats and that was actually the same room um, that a lot of other astronauts before dressed. Um, also because this is a historical launch, um, that's like a perfect background and also because they're launching on pad 39A it's also a historical place where a lot of other rockets launch and it was the first of a lot of things so this is like the perfect place for the launch and also um see they're leaving and these things they're actually um because it's really hot so how are they going to keep themselves cool so, so um that cooling thing i just pointed out it's like a portable cooling system that goes into those suits so it can keep them cold because it's 80 degrees and they're wearing some flame proof things. So, yeah. I'll keep updating every hour on everything that just happened and also I'll link below five things you should know about SpaceX. So, um, right now, um, they're in the white room and on Wednesday, because they were supposed to launch, um, they continued the tradition of made it, making a painting their room white and they also started a new tradition of signing. So on Wednesday, they signed it when they were supposed to launch. So what just happened is um, they just rotated the seats um, and they're getting ready to close the hatch and also they also did a, a, com a bunch of com checks which are basically to see if they can communicate with the ground control and stuff. Like, so everyone can communicate with everyone. So you might hear worm and meatball a lot. Um, it's basically the worm is, they're basically different, um, like this, like that's a meatball. And then the worm is the um, other one, the one that you see on the back of the Teslas. And also you might have saw when um, they were about to, um, they came out of the elevator on that wall that was also a, I think it was either going into the elevator or coming out that there's a black wall and that had the worm. So uh, this is not the first time Dragon has been flown. It is the first time it's been flown with passengers, but they flew it once before. Um, like, it hasn't been put on with, like, um, they, I think it was cargo or something that they flew it up to the ISS. Okay, so right now they're doing a um, pressure check to see if the door can handle pressure. So when they splash down, I think. Um, and also, um, there's a 50-50 chance of if they're gonna launch or not. And also, um, when they were in the um, dressing room, um, when the two people came in, um, Bob was making fun of Doug um, because um, once one of his um, once one of his launches was scrubbed five times before he actually got to do it. So it's like a little fun joke they had. It's two o'clock Eastern time, and here's the latest update. Um, uh, the hatch is closed and basically they're ready for um, liftoff. Um, and there's like basically an hour left. And they're still waiting on the weather. Um, they're gonna look at the weather soon and see if, um, like if they were launch, going to launch like right now, then they wouldn't be able to. Um, <clears throat> but they're expecting it to be clean enough to see when I would come they're expecting it to clean up. Some interesting facts are um, SpaceX is planning to use their Starship or some of the rockets, and they're planning to take um, ordinary people to space. It's almost three o'clock Eastern time, uh, around 30 minutes to launch, and um, they just retracted the arm, as you can see there. Also, what they did was they armed they put their visors on and they armed the launch escape system, which is basically the dragon can um, um, fly away from the falcon and splash down at ev any given moment from right now. Like right now, it could go into the ocean or from when it's launching or near the space station. 
and also um, they began fueling. So basically, um, it's basic. There's also 30% chance that they will abort. So basically, um, everything looks good that they're going to go today. I'm going to do another update in 15 more minutes, and you're really close to the launch. So, um, they started fueling, and you might see this mist thing. It's basically because um, they started fueling, the fuel that they use for the rocket is really cold, and because of the heat um, from outside, it turned into mist. And also, that shows that um, they started fueling, so basically, um, there's not that much of a chance that it's not going to Uh, my next update will be after lunch. Sorry, I'm in lunch. I got mixed up with my words. <laughs> Box loading. We have to vent down the line so you'll see another large white. Three, two, one, zero. Second. And what do you throw down? You heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Critical, critical moment there, Miko. Main engine cutoff from the first stage of the rocket now separating, allowing the second stage to continue along with the Dragon at 17,000 miles per hour, headed for the International Space Station. Jose, this could not have gone better. It is. So this is what just happened. So um, the rocket launched, and um, something called um, Miko, which is. Um, the Falcon 9, and then there's the Dragon on top. The Falcon 9 came off and landed on the drum ship. Then we had Seiko, and um, this part right here came off. At uh, this part. This part is now detached from the Falcon, it's from the Dragon itself. And that's Bob and Doug flying the Dragon. Well, not flying it because it's fully autonomous. That's the name of the Dragon. They just lifted up their visors and then they're now part of their suit because they're like in space now. Um, it's 10.30 p- yeah, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time um, right now and uh, they'll be docking at 10.30 a.m. <coughs> so they have to do a bunch of burns that bring them to the space station and the Dragon can do that autonomously but because um, this is demo two and Bob and Doug are two test pilots so basically they're testing the dragon to get certified by NASA to do this by themselves so they have to do all, some of these manually so some of these burns are going to be done manually some of the other things are also going to be done manually although <clears throat> it can be done fully automatic but because um, this is a test um, flight to the space station um, they uh, have to do some of them manually so uh, burn is basically like, it basically, like this phase burn is the first burn and what it does is it ignites the four engines on the dragon in a certain way so it can turn in a certain way in orbit or in some thing for the space station. So it does a bunch of, bunch of burns. This burn is gonna take it down. And then this boost burn is gonna take it here. And then those burn is gonna take it here. This burn is gonna take it here. This burn is gonna take it here. This burn is gonna take it here, and then they're at the space station. So they have to perform these in order to get aligned with the space station. They're docking tomorrow at um, 10.50 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, they're docking at 10.23 a.m. Eastern time. And this is the last um, one I'll be doing today. Tomorrow I'll continue. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, good night.
just uh, 30 minutes until it docks. That's the dragon. And what they're doing right now is they're basically performing a manual test. Like yesterday, how I told you they were doing manual tests because they're test pilots and they're testing it. So after they finish their manual tests, um, they'll put the dragon back on autopilot and they'll automatically go to the space station dock. But docking just means the space station is connected to the space station. Then they have to do a bunch of other procedures. They have to make sure both the space station and the dragon are the same pressure. Then there's a cavity in the middle, which they have to pressurize. They have to make sure that's the same thing. Then they can finally get out. Three and four, three and four, in one decimal one zero four, proof dragon approach and retreat monitor. Okay, and on the big loop, uh, five There's a little dragon and it's the ISS. confirming their visors down we should see the final approach resume and continues to close four meters to go the shadows of the, of the space station on the vehicle Yeah, you can actually see the uh, satellite camera pretty clearly there, um, sort of with the contrast of the sun right now. It's right there. Three meters to go. We are inside the hands-off point, the CHOP crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Who's that? Who's that? Soft capture complete. so long is because you see um right there this is the hatch and behind that you can kind of see that circle right there that's a, another hatch behind that is the dragon's hatch so they have to pressurize the cavity in between them and they have to make sure the iss and the um dragon are the same uh pressure if you can hear uh things in the background it's because if you can hear see us for cookie in the background it's because my baby brother is watching it. So also what they're doing is they're setting up a bunch of cameras and you can kind of see this camera. It's actually a 360 camera that um, might be on the web somewhere once they stitch it back on the ground. Um, also you can see it change into Astra clothes. Um, these are all cameras and also um, what they do is they call them floating cameras because see, it's floating. You also might have seen in the um, uh, dragon that they have a floating camera that they took a tour of the, those things in those two times. You might have seen those. PM Central Time, 102 PM Eastern. Yeah. 
Bob Beck and N. Doug Hurley opened the hatch to the International Space Station after launching from American soil on a U.S. vehicle for the first time in nine years. The first time ever for a commercially built spacecraft. Houston, Chris Cassidy opens the hatch to the International Docking Adapter, 11.37 a.m. Central Time, Station and Dragon. They're poking his head in at the camera at the forward end of the Dragon. Now only one hatch separating Bob Bankin, Doug Hurley from Chris Cassidy, who and welcome uh, Bob Bacon and Doug Hurley aboard. So they just opened that hatch, and now they're going to open the second hatch, which is the last hatch to Dragon. Never copies with pleasure. We'll be there in a second. Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Yay! Oh, there's Doug. And then there's Doug. Followed by Doug Hurley. Five people on the ISS. 